In this video we are going to talk about guide to cellaring, storing, and aging wine. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. The vast majority of the world's wine doesn't require cellaring. Most wines are truth be told at their pinnacle the day they are delivered. You likewise need to consider that pretty much every container of wine is bought either the day it is expected to be polished off or shorty thereafter however, a limited quantity of incredible wine is delivered that ages and ages gracefully and legitimate cellaring. The maturing and cellaring of those wines are the focal point of this video. Wine is something living. It changes with time in the jug. Contingent upon the wine, it can take from years to a very long time for the subatomic construction to change. However, changes truly do happen from cellaring wine. In the event that you feel a little uncertain about this, just open a youthful jug of wine alongside a similar wine from a past classic, maybe from a long time back and you can without much of a stretch see, smell, and taste the distinction. Assuming you will genuinely gather wine, appropriately cellaring of your wine is basic. Wine has been matured and cellared for millennia. From the outset, wine was put away in enormous containers or amphora. For basements, the Romans put away wine in the mausoleums. Nonetheless, it was only after the marriage of the glass container and plug, which occurred during the 1600s, that the maturing and cellaring of wine started vigorously. Preceding the far-reaching utilization of the plug, bottles were halted with at first clothes and later glass plugs, which were made each in turn to seal each jug. This was in the age when containers were likewise made the hard way, each in turn. The introduction of the advanced age changed all that. You don't have to participate in cellaring wine to appreciate it. Truly, the vast majority like the taste, scent and surface tracked down in youthful wine. That approach checks out. All wine appreciation involves individual taste. I love a great deal of youthful wine. For instance, 2009 Bordeaux from numerous makers, particularly from the different satellite nicknames are as of now very scrumptious. Probably the best wines from Pomerol and saint Emilion in 2009 have likewise been shocking since the day they were delivered. Today, with our speedy, moment world where all that happens faster than any time in recent memory, the idea of purchasing and cellaring wine to drink 10, 15, 20 or more years after the fact is an old idea to the vast majority. There are endless developments in the commercial center all professing to mature a wine in minutes, just before your own special sense of taste. Believe me. They don't work. There is not a viable alternative for time. To that end the closeout commercial center puts such a huge premium on appropriately cellared Bordeaux or different wines. Individuals purchasing those wines comprehend that with time, a wine turns out to be more than whatever it was the point at which it was initially positioned in the jug. More seasoned, appropriately matured and cellared wine is more than packaged history, despite the fact that there is a steam in the set of experiences found with matured wine too. Luckily, the best makers old enough commendable wine are making wine that demands less investment in the basement nowadays. A long time back, basically no new, oak barrels were utilized to progress in years wine prior to packaging. This delivered wine, particularly in the best wines from Bordeaux that requested a long time before the tannins were sufficiently delicate to consider a right, not to mention extraordinary wine sampling experience. What is the right temperature to store in basement wine? Remember, wine is something living. Temperature is a significant, on the off chance that not the foremost concern while maturing and cellaring wine. The colder the temperature, the more drawn out your wine will take to develop, while expanding the life expectancy of your wine. 55 degrees Fahrenheit, 13 degrees Celsius, is viewed as the ideal temperature for long haul maturing. At 55 degrees, your wine will partake in a long, slow development. At hotter temperatures, your wine will grow quicker and partake in a more limited life. Anyway the basic demonstration of raising or bringing down the temperature doesn't be guaranteed to increment or reduction the pace of development in your wine. Assuming that was the situation, you could just have a hotter basement and your wines would arrive at development faster. The rate at which hydrolysis, meaning the compound responses happen while maturing a wine adds to the degree of intricacy in the wine. Truth be told, it has been demonstrated that rising the temperature in your basement will have an unfriendly response in the nature of your wine. 
I have tasted a very sizable amount of matured wines to know hotter basement temperatures are negative to the improvement of wine. The well-known adage tolerance is ethicalness is what's really going on with maturing wine. There are two kinds of wine basements utilized for cellaring wine, dynamic and detached. A functioning basement is one where the temperature is constrained by a mechanical gadget. A uninvolved basement is the point at which the temperature climbs and falls with the difference in the seasons. The best latent basements are most frequently underground taking into consideration consistent cold or cool temperatures. Change in temperature is certainly not something terrible for wine, except if it occurs at a quick speed, which could relax the mark of the plug. The transaction of oxygen into a wine is a possibly significant viewpoint to the wine maturing appropriately. All things considered, the plug is permeable similar to the glass jug somewhat. The pace of the transaction of oxygen counts. Without rushing is the way the best wines are intended to progress in years. Wines for expanded cellaring ought to be kept in cooler temperatures. Ideally near or under 60 degrees Fahrenheit. As we previously referenced, 55 degrees is viewed as the ideal climate for cellaring wine. In the event that you are as an illustration just anticipating cellaring wine for a couple of years, temperatures more like 65 degrees ought not be an issue. Notwithstanding, in the event that you just bought an instance of 2010 First Growth Bordeaux and plan on opening a container following 30 to 40 years, colder temperatures near 55 degrees will furnish you with the ideal cellaring climate. For what reason is stickiness critical to cellaring wine? The requirement for moistness during the time spent cellaring wine is a frequently contended and discussed point. Inside the jug, the degree of stickiness is 100%. Shouldn't the demonstration of laying a jug on its side give sufficient stickiness to the inspiration of cellaring wine? The straightforward response is yes. Kind of. That is on the grounds that the mugginess inside the jug just safeguards the piece of the plug that is nearest to the wine. The stickiness likewise keeps the highest point of the plug as well as the piece of the stopper not in contact with the wine in its appropriate wet condition. This assists the whole stopper with holding its versatility and seal. Bottles with better stopper seals are less inclined to foster eulage. Eulage is the space pocket between the plug and the wine. The more modest the eulage, the better the wine, in light of the fact that with less space between the stopper and the wine, there is less air in the container to cause undesirable oxidation. Individual experience and narrative proof demonstrates that the freshest, most youthful tasting wines at development come from wine basements with mugginess that floats somewhere in the range of 70% and 80% moistness. Everything looks great with more elevated levels of dampness for the stopper or wine. As a matter of fact, that could be gainful to both the wine and the plug. In any case, expanded degrees of stickiness can obliterate the marks attached to the wine. In the event that you are anticipating selling your wine, that will be an issue, as containers with harmed names bring less cash. In the event that you are cellaring your wine to development for individual delight, it won't have an effect. Does light and vibration matter when cellaring wine? Light and vibration are the two adversaries of wine. Solid light can change the wine's fragile substance cosmetics. That is the justification behind the dim, green glass utilized most frequently for red wine. White wine isn't regularly matured the same length as red wine, which is the reason the wines are put in clear or lighter shaded bottles. Solid light can likewise transmit heat, which can likewise hurt the right improvement of a wine. Vibration is another possible issue. Undesirable vibration could cause substance responses that could make your containers grow uniquely in contrast to what is gainful to your wine. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.